Good evening. Tonight we're going to look at a Bible principle that's often misunderstood or misquoted and it has to do with the verse about not judging. Judge not that you be not judged. In these days when there's so much anti-discrimination laws and um, arguments over political correctness, it's very important for us to know what God's word says about judging. And often we're told uh, that it's wrong to judge, don't judge. And that can be right, but it can also be wrong depending on the circumstances. So we need to have a closer look at the scriptures. In Matthew 7 verses 1 to 2, we read, Judge not, uh, that, or do not judge, that you will not be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. So we certainly don't want to be critical judgmental because that will come back on our own heads and it's not a very pleasant thing. In this context of this verse, the words are very clear that we're not to criticise, condemn, belittle or pass judgment on people. The problem with human judgment is that we tend to judge by words and actions, whereas God judges the hearts. We cannot presume to judge people's intents and motives. Only God can judge the hearts. But sometimes he will reveal the hearts of people to God's servants for particular purposes. The word judge has many different meanings and the thesaurus says uh, that it can mean to assess, evaluate, give a ruling, verdict or decision, form an opinion, decide, conclude, ascertain, estimate, guess, consider, criticise, condemn, sneer at, belittle, pass judgment on. So there are quite a lot of different meanings to the word judge. And so tonight I've, I've put together a um, PowerPoint with a number of scriptures. And what I'd like you to do in your group is to read each of those scriptures. Have someone read out each scripture and discuss it before you go on to the next one. To save time, it's best if you just assign one or two of those scripture passages to each person so that you don't have to wait for everybody to look up that verse. And decide amongst yourselves what the word judge means in that particular verse. So go to it and then we'll discuss it more. Thank you. Well, how did you go? Of course, we all make judgments every day of our lives. We, If your teenage child wants to go to a party with some friends, you make a judgment about those friends and about what may happen at the party. When you vote at the next election, you will be making a judgment between the different parties. From my observation of the scriptures, it appears that we are to judge between right and wrong without judging the people themselves. We judge the actions, but not the heart. So, for instance, we can judge uh, that someone is sexually immoral. We judge, we judge the behaviour, but not the person. Um, we can't judge those motives or intentions. We're to ask God for discernment in judging or evaluating. We're to ask for an explanation from the person uh, in some cases. Before jumping to our own conclusions, we have to know what their perception is and where they're coming from. We're told not to judge before the appointed time, that is, God's timing which may be now or it may not be in this lifetime that they will be judged. We're to judge disputes between people. 
But if the dispute can't be resolved and it's between Christian brothers and sisters, then we're told to back down, even if it means that we are wronged or that we are uh, suffering as, as a result of that dispute. The reason for this is that we're told to do that rather than take the dispute to court uh, against a brother or a sister because it brings reproach on Christianity and on the church. The prophets are to judge or evaluate prophecy as to its veracity or, or rightness. When a judgment it has to be made in a church because of someone behaving unethically or immorally, that judgment needs to be made by the pastors and elders who care for the church. It's not up to members of the church to judge people and, and correct people in the church. However, if you learn of someone in the church who's doing the wrong thing or behaving badly, then it is the right thing to go to a pastor or elder and express your concerns. It's not the right thing to go to other people in the church, other church members and discuss it because, of course, that is gossip. If we're in a position where we have to make a judgment call, we really need to call on the Holy Spirit for guidance. And when we need to judge a situation, we must judge in love and with mercy since we will be judged in the same way as we judge others and in the same measure that we judge others. So it's quite important that we follow God's way of judging and uh, evaluating, assessing and that we do it all with a right heart before the Lord. I hope that you have a very good rest of the week and we'll see you on Sunday. God bless you. Let's close in prayer. Heavenly Father, we just thank you that you judge us with mercy. Lord, you don't uh, pay us back judgment for the things we've done wrong, but you have paid for our sin yourself. And Lord, you have set us free. You've judged with mercy and love. And we want to be that kind of uh, judge to others. We want to judge out of a heart of love and mercy. And so help us, please, Father, not to be judgmental, not to be critical, not to gossip or uh, cause damage to someone's reputation, but, Lord, always to do these, uh, make these judgment calls with mercy and forgiveness, with kindness and love. And we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen.